Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday! It's Monday so it's another meal prep day. I have three absolutely fantastic recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch, and an easy protein packed on the go snack. So if you're excited for another meal prep, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love to have you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Monday is always, always meal prep day so you don't wanna miss out. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. That way you know exactly what macronutrient amount and calories you should be eating every day to reach your goals. Definitely take advantage of that service. I also have 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want just a little bit more individualized support, you can order that on my nutrition coaching website as well. Links, discount codes to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other very favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, head on over and join us in that community as well, are all linked in that description box. So we have three amazing, delicious, incredible recipes to make, so let's get cooking. I'm making baked oatmeal. I'm gonna add some really ripe bananas for some sweetness, some craisins for some tartness. This is going to be an amazing breakfast. So I'm gonna add four really small, really, really ripe bananas. You'll need a baking powder, reduced sugar craisins or what's in this little container, vanilla extract, unsweetened applesauce, one large egg, salt, Brown sugar, this is the Lakanto Golden. I really like this brown sugar. I will link Lakanto down below in the description box with a discount code. You guys know that is my sweetener of choice. I love the Lakanto monk fruit. And then you'll also need some rolled oats. You can use regular rolled oats or quick oats. I almost forgot to show you that you're going to need a half of a cup of almond milk as well. So for our baked oatmeal, it's very, very simple. We're going to add all of our ingredients into a large bowl. I'm going to start with my four really ripe bananas. I'll add them all and then smash them up. Then we're going to add in all the rest of our ingredients. So I have one egg, one half of a cup of almond milk, one half of a cup of Lakanto brown sugar, one quarter cup of reduced sugar craisins, one and a half cups of rolled oats, one quarter cup or one of these individual unsweetened applesauce, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're just going to stir this together until it's combined. I'm going to spray a casserole dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to add in the oatmeal mixture. And this is going into a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until the oatmeal is lightly crisp and the edges are brown. Oh my goodness, this baked oatmeal <laughs> smells incredible looks incredible i cannot wait to have this throughout the week my plan is to pair this with some protein whether that be some turkey bacon turkey sausage or some eggs so it's a nice well-rounded protein packed breakfast so this entire pan of baked oatmeal makes six servings it is four smart points per serving on blue and green and only two points per serving on purple just because you don't have to count for the oats 236 calories per serving. This again looks so good. It's nice and thick. You could add some maple syrup, whatever you want to the top of this. And again, I'm just going to pair it with a protein. For lunch this week, I'm making a healthy chicken salad with grapes. I'm really excited for this recipe. I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can eat this week's lunch prep. But to make the chicken salad, you're going to need some reduced fat mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, onion powder, green onions, celery, about a half of a cup of grapes, 
salt and pepper. The recipe also calls for celery seed, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to omit that. About a half of a pound of chicken, lemon juice, and non-fat Greek yogurt. First thing I'm going to do is add some chicken tenders, about a half a pound or so, to a pan sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. We're just going to cook these all the way through so that we can shred the chicken. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to cut the grapes. These are pretty big. The recipe says halved, but I think I'm gonna cut mine into quarters just because they're so large. We're going to slice up this little stalk of green onions and about four stalks of celery. We want about a quarter of a cup. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Now we're going to make up the sauce for the chicken salad. We're going to start with one quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, one half of a teaspoon of onion powder, three tablespoons of light mayo, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, about a half of a tablespoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Mix that all together before we add it to the chicken, green onion, celery, and grape mixture. We're going to take the sauce and add it to the mixture. And then we're going to stir until it's all mixed together. And here is what the chicken salad looks like. This looks absolutely incredible. Let me show you a few different ways to use this salad for lunch. So some ideas for the chicken salad, you could wrap it in butter lettuce or another large leaf lettuce and have a lettuce chicken wrap. You can also top your favorite greens and make a chicken salad salad, which is probably something I'm going to do because that sounds really delicious. It would take the place of your protein and your dressing because it's creamy enough that it would add a nice dressing texture to your favorite greens. You can also put it into a wrap, a one smart point, two smart point wrap and make a chicken wrap. Or you can top your very favorite piece of bread. I think it would make really good avocado toast. So if you did a slice of bread, toasted it up, added some of the chicken mixture and some avocado, that would be a really good, easy lunch, well-rounded protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. So lots of fun ways to use the chicken salad. Let's go over points and calories of just the salad. Now, if you added any of these other things, if they had points, you would definitely want to add that to the point value of just the chicken salad. So it is one smart point per serving. This entire bowl makes four servings, so it's a lot. For one point on the blue and purple plan, four points on green just because you do have to count for the chicken, 124 calories per serving. So very low calorie, very high protein. So you definitely have room in your day to add in one of your favorite wraps. For a snack this week, I'm making a six ingredient WW friendly peanut butter protein ball. So these would be great to take on the go. They're a great way to get in protein and healthy fats. So what you're going to need is some rolled oats, unsweetened flake coconut, chocolate chips. These are just the Lily's chocolate chips, honey, peanut butter of your choice, and vanilla extract. So to put together our protein balls, super easy. In this bag, I have exactly two thirds of a cup of coconut flakes. I went ahead and just weighed them out on my food scale. So I'm going to add those. One half of a cup of chocolate chips, two cups of rolled oats, one half of a cup of peanut butter, and one third of a cup of honey. Now we're just going to mix this together until it's similar to a paste so that we're able to roll the mixture into balls. We're also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I almost forgot the vanilla. Give it another quick stir. And then this is going to go in the refrigerator for about an hour before we actually roll it into the protein balls. One hour later. So I just pulled the protein ball mixture out of the refrigerator. We're going to roll this into 40 balls about an inch or so in diameter. Talk to me honestly, look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy, make me believe it. All right, the peanut butter protein balls are done. I got exactly 40, about one inch balls. Each of these protein balls is three points on the blue 
and green plan and only two points on the purple plan just because you don't have to count for the rolled oats and they are only 68 calories a piece so this is a lot of them it is recommended that you do store these in the refrigerator this recipe comes from a website called mycrazygoodlife.com i'll make sure that this of course is on my recipe website along with breakfast and lunch thank you for joining me on another ww meal prep i hope you are as excited about these three recipes as i am I will make sure that all three recipes are on my recipe website and I will link that at the top of the description box for you. That's where you can find all of the recipes that I've ever created since starting my YouTube channel. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things, my Facebook group, and nutrition coaching are also down in that description box. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you're new to my channel, welcome, or you're not subscribed, join the community. We'd absolutely love to have you. Just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Definitely let me know what you guys think of these recipes and if you try them for yourselves. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!